Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this hot seat here with Britannia and Manny playing with England. Right now it's turn number three and I'm pretty sure that something has gone on there. There's no way, right now we are in open war with Wales. Let's see what they have done. I, I think it's officially Devon who's playing with... Um, with Wales, I'll have to check that out because I have I have memorized who who they are, all the other players, of course, but I haven't memorized what they are playing with. Uh, let's start a turn. All right, immediately I saw that my finances are not really that good. Oh, there's some rebels. Okay, I might have I just lost a province, the province of Ulster to the rebels. I'm gonna check that out. Uh, but should I adopt this guy or not? He's quite loyal, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have some problems with... You know, since I don't have any money, I would have a really, really difficult time bringing in more troops. And I'm pretty sure that I'll lose eventually one or two family members. So, maybe yes. Maybe yes. Yes, I'm going to accept that. Alright. So, let's take a look at and see what happened. Okay, there, there are not any surprises here, no fleets or anything. Right, Scotland is invading with his king, nevertheless. Okay, I gotta check out what they have here. Okay, no siege weapons, so they will take a little bit of, you know, he will, they will take some turns. I think I'm actually gonna destroy everything here. You know, I don't care about that, because he's always gonna win there. Uh, let me check this. Right, it doesn't seem anything. Doesn't seem anything. Okay, let's just keep sending this guy down. Oh, okay, there's some. Let, let me take a big look at things. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. That's a lot of spearmen, and that's the catapult and his Welsh leader. Can I reach there? I can reach with these forces, and I can't reach because of this ger this rebel. But I don't know if I ever would be able. No, I don't think I would be able to reach there with these guys. But I probably can reach them. Yeah, with these guys. Oh, perfect. So I can use these units to attack. I can use everything. I can send everyone there to attack. But that's not enough because it's not enough units right there. Oh, there's a siege! Oh, dude. Okay, hang on a second. There's a siege there. This is gonna be a long episode, guys. Okay, over here doesn't seem like anything. Oh, I lost here and he's bringing in enough units. Okay, let him battle that. I'm pretty sure this force... Maybe I can just... Hmm, go over there and try to flee. We'll see. Okay, so first things... Uh, I think there's no way for me to handle this, so I'm going to bank everything on destroying whales. They have one army Let's here. That's a big army, but maybe I can do something about that. Okay, I only have these units. Let me see, can I reach there? I can reach with these guys. Let me see. No, they can't. Okay, one thing, if I bring the general, this is one thing that you've got to keep in mind. If I bring the general, I won't be able to reinforce, um, because the general will take command of all the troops, so I won't be able to control them. So I gotta send everything, I gotta do this with militia, uh, with a captain. So I can bring maybe these horsemen, these guys won't reach, and I can take these guys, and maybe even this guy, it doesn't reach there. This guy doesn't reach there as well. Damn it! If, if I had these guys a little bit forward, you know, even on Gloucester, I would be able to attack them. Well, I think, let me see, one, two, and then one spear militia and cavalry. I, respect you. I don't know what they have, but I have two spear militia. If I can join up with these spear militia, then it's Come perfect. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, exactly. So, should I go there? Yeah, these guys can't assist there, but this guy can. So let's see what else can I, can I send there. Just planning out. Okay, this guy can't reach. Can the cavalry? Oh, can the cavalry reach there? Hang on a second. Uh, this is just keeping up. Right? No, I don't want to move. They can reach. You saw the green arrow. That's what you gotta check out. So maybe I can send my prince with these five cavalry plus this cavalry. 
right here and then get reinforced by all these units. But that would mean very few infantry. Maybe I can recruit some units. I don't know. Maybe destroy some buildings. I'm counting on that. Because this is the, the idea that I wanted initially. Um, one thing, let me check this. So that some semi axmen these guys should be cool. That's a prince there, and there's a crossbow militia. Not to worry, there's some catapults. Okay, I think this force, plus this, plus this, and this, can perfectly handle that one. That, that's what I'm gonna bank. So all of these forces will sum up on this Norwegian faction here and kill them. Right. That, that feels a good idea. Um, then these forces, with this, with these cavalry forces, we'll try to get the Welsh faction leader. I think I have enough. I think I have enough. I would have lots... I could have some Sherwood archers, but I can't recruit them there. Okay, can I recruit yes, King no Henry? Time. Yeah, pretty much, of course not. Okay, so first of all, um, what I was thinking, I'm thinking that Dublin can't hold on. You know, I can't hold on here against Ireland. So the biggest idea that I had was to sneak attack right here on their capital, on Carlo. That will stop them, at least, from getting some units at some point. Um, and it's actually a better use, because all this army is here for is just to, you know, uh, make sure that they are... Um, that they... they that this, uh, this settlement doesn't, you know, doesn't uh, rebel. That's silly. You, you don't want a full army to do that. Uh, I prefer to leave this city. I prefer to leave Trim, even, and just do this. Uh, for that reason, I really want to check out, because I think the catapults will limit the navy here. So, for now, let me check that out. I'm going to send this over here, and I'm going to send this catapult to the first navy. Yeah, you can see there. So, I'm pretty sure that if I take everything from this into the navy... Yeah, they can unload. Perfect. Okay, and Dublin will have just the peasants, just for that. So, Dublin will also do one thing that you don't like us, but you're gonna see this. We're gonna dismantle everything! EVERYTHING! Great change the church. I don't care, this city, if this city is going to rebel, it's going to do that in fashion. And I already have money, oh hang on. I could destroy the port, but that would mean that I wouldn't be able to do anything else. Okay, let me unload here. Perfect. And now I actually have this ship that can join up with this guy. Let me see if they can reach me. They pretty much can, but I could set them up right there. Now, I could put the ships here, and that would mean a second one would there. Let me, let me check this. Yeah, if I move here, he can't attack. That's good. Now, I don't know if he has any other force here, any other ships. Um, I could check that out. I could check that out, or I could bar him right there on these Welsh docks, forcing him to, you know, try to attack me with his navy. Those are cogs, 5, 8, and mine is 10, 12. So I guess I can actually send this guy here to protect that. Yeah. Uh, over in Dublin, it's of course going to rebel, there's nothing else. Ah, I could have sent the cog. I could have sent it here to recover these units. Well, I might still be able to do that. Might still be able to do that. You've noticed that I'm really going slowly here. Uh, Cairnervorn doesn't seem to have enough units to deal with this. I'm pretty sure that his fort here has a lot of units, but if he leaves, he'll be vulnerable to whatever the outcome here in Lancaster is. So if I win over on Lancaster, if I win over here, it remains here, Cardiff. Okay, let's make this battle of uh, here on Cardiff. Uh, can these guys attack? Let me just see. I can move them. Like that. Yes, sire. That's it. They can't attack, but well, they will be. An order. Point. I have to send this cavalry there as well. And now I think I have enough army because I would have two longbowmen. Let me check their Let army. Oh! The okay, so that's a lot of Welsh spearmen. He only has three um, 
missile units. That's a lot of these spearmen. But he only has one, ca one cavalry unit, and I have four, so I can bank on that. L let's hope. Let's hope I can bank on that. Sire. This guy can't assist. Honor, this guy can't assist, Command, and nothing sire. here can assist except this general, which I don't want him there because it, he wouldn't be able to. He would take control. You know, that's that's something that I don't want. This guy, I'm still deciding if I'm going to send him to Shaftesbury or not. But, yes, well, kind of, kind of need that. Kind of need that. Um, okay, I think I'm going to do this battle right now and wait for the outcome. Because if I lose it, then I'll, I have other decisions. So yeah, it's going to have to be the forces from Cardiff attacking if I'm not mistaken. Let's go for it. Right, so that's two captains right there. And he's a, he, of course, has some better overall troop uh, combination, but he doesn't have any siege weapons. Right, let's fight it out on the battle map. Right, cool. Okay, this one is going to have all of these battles. They're going to have to be really careful. I'm going to have to be really careful if I have to win all of this. Because if I win, then Norway is out of the way for a couple of turns, like three Units, to four turns. My orders. Um, and then Wales will also have some problems. Okay, I'm pretty sure that he might attack me, even, you know, so I'm just going to move these guys here. And he's going to get the... Okay, my reinforcements are actually on their backs. That might prompt them to leave or to strike me. So I'm going to be careful and just move these guys out of the way. That's it. And the spear militia, just protect these guys. Yeah, he's going out of the way, you can see there. So I'm just going to try to lure them into the, into the walls. Let's check it out. Let's run. Okay, cavalry. Let's actually deploy the cavalry. Uh, I think I'm gonna go into right here. So let's go and move. If I, if only I could, you know, manage to go all around them, that would be the perfect idea. Yeah, that would be the perfect idea. Let me fast forward this. Is he attacking me? It doesn't seem like it. Alright. So let's see if I can just send these guys here. Can I? I just don't want to bring any archers. Uh, I don't want to make him attack me on any archers. Because if I send everything here to this side, then I'll have the upper hand. Because I will have two, three units of spearmen to defend my longbowmen, which will do a lot of damage. That's, that's the idea here. Alright. You can send here. Let me check what's going on here. Right, where's the cavalry units? Hi there. You gotta go here. And you guys, you're gonna go over there. Longbowman, you can go over here. That's it. This is all a matter of, of positioning, guys. No, I'm pretty sure that what I have to do is kill off all of these, but let me just group up all the cavalry. And everyone actually. He's not moving, so that's good for us. We'll be able to join up our forces. Perfect. Let's go time six. This is gonna be a very long episode, guys. It's gonna be really long. But that's how we like it. We like them long. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling more confident right now. I can send in the infantry and um, archers over to the front. Okay, he is deploying with missile troops uh, to the front. Maybe I'll be able to make some charges on that. Uh, for sure, the biggest target is his general. As soon as he dies, everything should be fine. But I'll have to I have to be with my cavalry really clear so that I can, you know, charge them. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to do some charges on these missile troops. Uh, just maybe to cause them to route or something. Uh, maybe I should divide my forces. Honestly, I think that's the best idea. Let's put some cavalry units here to take advantage of these, uh, um, this position. That's it. Right, and now my longbowmen should be moving in. Where can they hit? Probably they can hit if I put them right there. Let's put it on shift one. Let's make them run. They're still fresh, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Cavalry, let's go over here. 
from this cavalry. Let's go over here. Right, I'm feeling more confident right now. I'm feeling more confident because I have all my troops together. I am severely outnumbered in terms of infantry, but I'm well outnumbering him in terms of cavalry and mobility, of course. So my troops are more mobile. We're going to have to take advantage of that. Still can't hit. Possibly, is this a good ground? Yes, it is. So let's move them a little bit forward. It's all nice and easy, guys. All nice and easy. Are you in range? Barely. I think only one more. And you're in range. No? Come on. There we go. They're in range. Okay, now I gotta move this cavalry in. We are pretty sure that I have to send these guys over there. Yeah, they're gonna start firing, but we might have some good outcome here. Pretty much thinking on the feudal knights charging in. Maybe I can charge with both. Let's go for it. Yeah, my archers are doing some damage and he's reforming, so let's stop these archers. Let's see if they can attack here. Yeah, cavalry got one of their units, so that's one of their units completely destroyed. Pretty sure that's that's going to be completely destroyed. They're already routing. He's not reacting in any way or form. So that's 64, 63. Let me take these guys away. That was a successful, successful one. Very good one. And I don't want the skirmishers to do anything else. Oh guy, oh boy, gotta move these guys here, or I'm going to suffer the same fate. That's it. Come on, protect those. These guys are attacking the spearmen and the skirmishers. All right, let's strike on the skirmishers this time. Spearmen, run in. Spearmen here, those others, and spearmen here. Let's go. You guys, let's strike the Welsh skirmishers and the archers right there. Right over there. Right over there, and these guys right over here. You can charge there. Let's see the charge. Oh, good. Oh, good. That was a nice charge. It was a really nice charge. Can't believe this happened. So those Welsh skirmishers, they're dead. There's no, there's no way. I'm going to take these guys away right now. Come on. Get them away. Get him away. There comes the general. Let's get this guy away. Oh, he's my general. Right, so let's start hitting the general's bodyguard because that's the most important target. Those are routing away. And so are those routing away. So he has no missiles. All that he has are spearmen. Perfect. Let's position even further away with this, this cavalry force. And this cavalry force right here. So he's probably going to have to try and pursue those. His general is suffering some, some casualties. Stop that, Longbowman, and stop you as well. Let's position you here. Right, those, those are coming back. These are coming back. They are going to suffer some charge, actually. That's it. Spearman, you can go here. Yeah, look at that. He's positioning all those spearmen, but he's not doing anything. In the meantime, I'm killing all of his uh, archer units. That's good. And my archers, well, they're suffering a little bit, but they should be striking down this general. Let's go for it. Okay, I think the general's bodyguard is tired of this. Yeah, that's it. These guys are pursuing there. That's fine. They're routing. Okay, I can move these guys here. It's perfect. And the archers, they're doing some damage to this general's bodyguard. That's good. Now, so long as I'm doing damage there. No, this isn't the third age. You can actually cause damage to cavalry really well with archers. Okay, this this is the bait right now. There we go. Cavalry, let's go. I told you to run. I don't know why they're not running. They're running now. Good. That means that they won't um, be able to do anything here. Let's strike it down. There's some spearmen there. Okay, I can charge these spearmen and charge them from the back and flank. That's it. Can go over here and charge these other spearmen from the back. This guy can just move here and you're gonna attack here. That's it. You can move over there. How are things here? His general's bodyguard is gonna die. Good. Good, 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 good. That's it. So that unit is fleeing, but my routing units as well. 
Alright, that's good. It doesn't matter because my cavalry has taken away... Did they kill the general? They didn't kill the general. So I gotta pursue him. Well, there's no time right now. There's no time, so I gotta pursue these other units. Mailed knights, let's attack here. Those are fighting to the death, so I can actually attack these spearmen from the back. What else is going on? Longbowmen are still sh shooting some stuff. Alright, let's pursue these guys. Let's pursue these guys. I want them to be surrounded so that they will flee. There we go, there was a nice charge right there. Let's wave, cause these guys to flee as well. Good, broken. Right, those guys are still wavering, but they're still alive. I don't want to cause a mass drive right now. I just want to make sure that I kill as many as possible. Yeah, let me let me suffer some casualties here with these Welsh spearmen, so that my men can actually pursue them. You're gonna, you're gonna. All of Let's go. By the victory we have won here can we today. kill a couple more? Okay. That was a good victory. I didn't lose too many men. 151, and he lost almost everything. Men remaining 205. But he didn't lose the general. That's a little bit unfortunate. We have a clear victory. I like that. I like that one. Oh, okay, one less. Now we have two battles to fight. Let's go to the most important one. Let's execute them all. He fled. Right, that's cool. Uh, these units, I'm gonna merge them and they can, uh, they can move towards the Cardiff right there. I think I'm gonna put this guy in charge of Cardiff and then charge there. Yeah, I think he won't be able to have enough there. So that's going to be a decision later. You know, I'm going to send this guy here with this small picket force, and he's going to attack this small wooden castle. I don't know what he has over there, but I'm pretty sure that I want to check out here first. Okay. So, as I was saying now, I don't have any money, but I can do this. I can dismantle this. That's it. Because this town is always going to get caught. Let's put it on low tax rate. For now, I really don't want them to get completely owned. This guy's gonna go over to York. York must not fall. Okay, now I have 1,000. 1,000 is enough for a couple of units. So let's be extra careful here as well. Now, I can move it right there. If I move here, I'm pretty sure that I won't have enough movements. If I move here, I have. I could move from the woods, but I think this is a better position. Okay, what can I recruit? Oh! Welsh Spearmen, I think I, I'm gonna need these guys. 470, I can do that. Or I can have some mercenary crossbowmen, which are really good against armor. Well, I have already good units against armor. What I'm lacking is actually infantry, so that's that's decision made right there. That's it. So all of this force will attack there. Yep, let's go and recruit these Welsh spearmen. And now I'm feeling better with my odds, because I have th four archer units, three infantry units in total. It's all a matter of fact of trying to destroy their specific good units. Now, he has a lot of spearmen, a lot of archers, but I think I can deal with the archers, like I did on the last battle. The catapults are the turning point. And that's the, his faction leader, so he's a very good general. I have to kill him as fast as possible. My targets for the archers will be his archers and then his generals, his cavalry forces. Because the, everything else, the infantry just collapses when the general dies. So, not going to be too worried about that. Let's go for it. Okay, it gives me a good ratio. I have 1,200 men. About, I guess, 1,700, and that's pretty old, Commander. Well, let's fight it out. Let's hope this wasn't a bad decision. I gotta take these battles, guys. I gotta take these battles. Alright, if I destroy this army, then the Welsh are pretty much taken. Because they will have three to four armies attacking. Okay, that's... Okay, that's not a good position to attack me into. My reinforcements will show up from the right, so something like there. Okay. 
not the best spot. I will never be able to reach this area because that's where he probably will be. He'll be here. So if I try to reach here, the catapults are already attacking me for a long time. Maybe I can go over to this hill. Yeah, since I have mostly cavalry over here, maybe I can take this hill. He has catapults, so he will be really slow trying to attack me. I'm gonna have to take advantage of that. Yeah, let's go for that. I gotta make sure that my general also doesn't get into trouble. There's a lot of spearmen, so I'll have to be careful with that. Both of my generals, actually. Still not gonna divide any uh, troops, you know, just gonna try to merge my units. There we go, everything is there. Let's go over here as fast as possible. Or actually, normal. Let's see what they are doing. Is he moving in? Or he's just positioning? I think he's just going to position, hopefully. Yeah, it seems so. Those guys are already stopping. So, I gotta make sure that I don't draw them into the fray. So these guys, let's go over here. And over here, let's wait a little bit. Let's actually take this skirmish away from these guys. Shift 1. Let's try to deploy them right there. That's it. Infantry, let's put these uh, infantry together. Let's try to push here. These cavalry forces, let's try them right there. You know, I have enough cavalry so that I can, you know, be safe against most of this. If he tries to attack me, that is actually that could actually be a good thing. If he tries to move in, you know, I would have everyone in a proper position. Let me see what's going on over there. Catapults are moving in. All right, I can be careful with those. I gotta be lucky with the catapult shots. If they hit my general, is it's game over. Right there, it's game over, guys. Okay, he's repositioning, but he doesn't want to attack. That means that I actually have a good defensive composition. He doesn't want to go in because he's afraid of that. Maybe I can do the same thing as I did on last one time, which is try to bait his archers into bad engagements. Um, if I have to move in, at least my men are a little bit winded, you know, but they're not running in. Oh, this is going to be a long episode. Over an, uh, over an hour of this episode, guys. Alright, so. What's going on? He's going to be moving in and out. Uh, luckily, those catapults will not fire properly with that, with that reach. He has all the the archers at the front, so maybe I can actually get a, a good hit on them. We'll have to to see that. Right, these guys. I think the fight will have have to happen here. Uh, maybe I can put my archers here, my longbowmen on this side. I think that's the best option. Okay, they're warmed up, winded, a little bit winded, warmed up. Okay, you can actually stop there and stop there because you're not going to move in where you, I initially thought. Let's see if, if I can draw them a little bit. This force is on the right. I gotta be make sure that I don't confuse this. Let's put these guys here. Now, I don't know if they will be in reach of the catapults, so let's not take that chance. Let's put my Welsh spin here. And general right there. Let's fast forward. You know, really go easy on these battles, guys, because there's... <laughs> I have to go easy. You know, I have to win this one. If I win this one... Okay, he is moving in. Well, he isn't, actually. I think he's just deploying for his catapults. Are they gonna fire? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. For now, it doesn't seem like it. I don't know, I wish I could see their range. I think I'm gonna try to cause them to move a little bit there. You know, so I'm gonna move this guy right here. And these guys right there. You know, that's the, the idea here is that he'll have a really bad angle of attack with the catapults. And he'll probably try to use his missile troops. If I move obliquely like this, he probably will rotate the army. And if he does so, that's an extra movement for me, because that's some extra time that I gain. Yeah, I can see that he's trying to rotate a little bit, 
So that's less catapult shots, you know, he'll probably be already in range or very close to the range and he's not doing that. Okay, General's bodyguard, this guy has to go a little bit faster, come on. Let's go over here, actually General you're gonna be here. And right now everyone, I think you need to run there. Do you need to run? Well they're already winded and oh, these guys are already tired too. They're really tired. I should have rested these guys. I hope they won't be under attack. This is gonna rely, you know, all of these generals, all of these uh, cavalry forces, I'm gonna rely on them to attack their catapults on the back. So I'm trying to make sure that he will concentrate on this force. Like this, maybe I should move my... They always align with the generals, so let's see if I can align them like this. Maybe that will do the trick. I don't know if their catapult forces are going to attack anytime soon, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that my longbowmen will have some striking ability. They might reach here already, so if I climb over this area, we're gonna have that. Let's go for this. Cavalry. This is a bad spot for my cavalry, but it will have to do. It will have to do. It's not the best spot for them, but you know, I can't do too much. Moving carefully, guys. Sorry. This is not an easy battle by all means. Come on. And I don't want to get tired or anything like that. Okay, you guys. Let's position up a little bit forward. He's moving in. He is moving in. Alright, I think he's moving in. Barely in range of these guys, so let's run them down. Let's run over here. That's it. Can my archers fire on anyone? They will be able to, because he's moving in. Alright, that's cool. Good! I think he's, all, he's actually all inning. He's moving everyone in. What's going on with the cavalry there? Don't don't like that. Right, he's just moving. He didn't like it either. Yeah, he doesn't like this cavalry there, so he doesn't know what he's doing. In this case, it's actually good for me because I get a couple of volleys for free. Maybe I can even climb a little bit more. Yeah, my archers are not going to have the fire. Yeah, but they're drawing their fire, so okay, that's good for us. Is he going to move too early? I don't know. Where, where's his catapults? Are they going to attack? Seems so. We gotta be careful with that catapult shot. He's not hitting me, so for now I guess it's fine. I'm not going to move in. That's it. That's one unit of missile troops that's going to fall. I'm actually going to move in with a male knight there instead. That's it. And archers, you're going to position a little bit forward. Spearmen, you're going to position a little bit forward. And I'm just going to use this mailed archer to soak up a little bit. Let's go. Or this mailed knight. That's it. Okay, he is moving in with these other troops. Let's see what I can do with, these, with this charge. Not too much. Not too much, honestly. This other dude, let's move them here. Okay, did it didn't do almost anything. Didn't do almost anything. Let me see, can these guys start attacking this guy? They can't. Right, but he's moving in with that with that. Let's go over here again. Yeah, that's it. Cavalry can just move back at every point. That's it. I guess the cavalry is actually oh, he's retreating there. He didn't like the idea. Oh, there we go. Okay, this, these longbowmen, I gotta move them faster. Gotta move them closer. And the spearmen over to them. That's it. The purpose of this is just to make sure that we get everyone in position. Not that. These guys. Let's just position them right here. That's it. And these guys, I guess I can position these guys here. There we go. There's the hell weir. He's moving them all in. Alright. Time to charge them. These guys can just leave here. 
archers are suffering, but they can actually hit the Tulu. I would love to hit those. He's having to back away, but so am I. Let me see the charge. Will it do anything this time? No, and he has the ch the Tulu charging. So get the get it out of there. They are really good against my uh, forces. Let's hit their own Tulu. Right, you're now attacking their best troops. Or almost their best troops. Let's run over here. Archer units, can you attack the general? They still can't, but they can attack the Tulu. Good! One at each time. Hit them. That's it. I really want some shots on that heavy cavalry. All the catapults have started firing. Miss those, please. I gotta make sure that a couple of these forces fall before. He has already lost a couple of these Hellweir due to my own Archer fire. And he's losing their Telu really fast. That's good. Can I hit the General's Bodyguard? Not yet. He's moving in the catapult, so that's fine for me. And he's losing the Telu. Oh, good! Something is going well. Something is going well. If he loses that cavalry unit, that's really good for us. No, he's tr using his missiles. I gotta move one cavalry unit right now. This guy won't flee right now. Could try to strike these guys. I don't know if that would be effective. I think he's trying to move in, so yeah. I gotta try these charges. You know? I gotta try a couple of these. In the meantime, he still loses no more. That's good. Right, I'm charging in. I'm getting some good casualties here. Of course, he's also losing there. These guys will hit the spearman instead. Get the hell out of there. Let's run over here. Right, that's it. No, they're quite fresh. They still haven't done too much. Hell, we are attacking. He's sending in the spearman. Okay, don't do that. The spearman can move in a little bit. Okay, my Tilu. Tilu have probably done everything, so let's stop these guys. Yeah, that's it. He's actually attacking those other units. Okay, what could I attack with my archers? Perhaps some spearmen, or perhaps even the general. Well, for now, we're going to tell him to attack these spearmen in the middle. And these red raiders, they are light infantry, so they should be able to charge them back. Knights, he's attacking with some spearmen here. Oh, he managed to kill a couple of them. And is he moving in already? Seems like it. Okay, Archer Fire. Let's go for the General. You know, The biggest issue here is that I don't have the possibility to attack the General. Let's keep moving in. And do the same thing that I did to the other cavalry with my... Uh, with my Archer Forces. Let's attack the General's bodyguard. That's it. Let's go for it. There's some spearmen here. I can avoid them, if needs be. That's it. Okay, those are missiles. I could actually send a couple of these forces. Actually, I can send these guys. Okay, archers. Let's hit the general. Let's hit the general. That's it. So far, if I'm attacking the general, I'm actually going fine. And he's not doing too much. Okay, these guys have to step back. Maybe I can attack these spearmen. You know, completely engage them. That's it. Maybe I can draw them away. Because right now he's going to get a charge. You know, he's going to start turning back and he's going to suffer heavily. Yeah, those guys are dead. Those guys are dead. And how's the general? Still with 52, 54... Gotta keep sending my archer fire there. They're also hitting the catapults, that's why they're not doing anything there. He's surviving? Yeah, because of the... Because of the, all the bonuses. Let's get away. You know, I need charges on those guys. Don't need anything else. That's it. Infantry forces. So far, I'm liking his because he's almost lost half their forces already. Where is his general? He's suffering. He's suffering. 
40 minutes in on this episode. It's going to be in the long episode. But I'm pretty sure that I can do this. Oh, these spearmen have died. There's nothing there. So I can actually move this right there. Start moving these guys over there. He's sending in a catapult there, and the general's bodyguard has 28. That's fine, I can keep up with those. Let's see here, hell we're... All that I need is a couple good charges. He's already losing there, so... Oh! Thank you for that easy catapult. You can move over there. Let me move my cavalry here. No, just slow poke, guys. Slow poke. That's how you do things. Let's position everyone properly. That's it, because he he has missile troops, but he wasted them a little bit. The general's bodyguard only has eleven. I could actually send my own Felder Knights against them right now. Let's stop this arch of fire. Put them on auto fire. Let's send the male knights against them. Let's go for it. Actually, I don't care. Let's go for that charge. Right there. We are all in, guys. We're all in. Let's send these spearmen against their own spear militia. That's it. Let's send these knights against the spearmen. No, not yet. After their general's bodyguard is dead. Because he's trying to send everyone in there. So he's going to have some some problems. Because all my cavalry is entering the battle. Okay, we got to kill that general. And right now he's trying to send them all in there. But he's going to have the, this this problem, because I'm sending everyone in. Now we're the all in. Okay, General's bodyguard, it's two. Come on, you got to kill that dude. Attack. Let's go over there. He's suffering, actually. Suffering heavily. But so am I. Finally, we're all kind of all in. Longbowman, you're also going to min. Okay, where do I have any cover units that are suffering? These guys are suffering. Where's the general? Come on, where's the general? I gotta kill the general. I can't see him. General's bodyguard. Come on, kill the general. It's about killing the general, not anything else. Man, I'm losing so many knights. It's about killing the general. Can you kill them? Either kill the general or we lost. Okay, we gotta regroup. We gotta regroup this force because otherwise his spearmen are just gonna demolish my units. So units here, get away. Units here, get away. Let's so run away and run away. Okay, it actually worked! Okay, right now everything everything stops and stops. Woo! Okay, it worked actually, you know, this old pronged attack. I need a couple of units fighting to the death so that I can completely wipe them out. Uh, there's some male knights here, I can tell them to attack these hell here. And that's it, what we have here. Some units catching those. Alright, luckily not only did I won, but I didn't lose any of my good units. And the catapults didn't do anything at all. Let's keep pursuing these guys. If you have everyone on... This is a clear victory. Good! Goes to only men of great uh, my, my arms ache for the workout. <laughs> Not this, actually. I did a workout on, on last uh, Friday, and I'm like, ah, I'm still having an ache. But that was a victory! I killed the king! <sighs> and only lost 368 men. That was perfect. Even counting that a couple of them are mercenaries. So I lost a couple of cavalry units, which is a little bit a little bit of a problem. I did have some longbowmen surviving the battle. Right, that's good. But that was a powerful victory. That's a good victory. Right there. That's that's the victory that I needed. Because right now, what, what does he have? I gotta check that out. Let's execute. I don't want any ransom money. Everything is dead. Good. Now, I, if I only I had some movement, I would be able to gather up these guys. But I don't. What is he building up? Okay, he has like 
Two units, three units, four... Okay, even if he gets some generals here, he won't be able to do that. And I even... I, I forgot to use this one. So idiot! That was so silly! Hey, I can actually besiege them, or can't I? I can't. But I can besiege that Welsh fort. The idea would be, you know, if I besiege them, he can't actually enter that. You know? Sire. So he'll have to use, he'll have to spend some time, you know, attacking some places. That's good. That worked out perfectly. Now we all we got to do is attack this Prince Magnus right there. And I think the same tactics will work out. Uh, Chester is having some troubles, but that's due to the tax rate. That's fine. Okay, right now, my biggest, the biggest threat comes from the north. So I gotta check out over there. Can I check that here? Can I see there? I don't know if I can see that. My lead. Could even put a cock there. I don't know if I can see there or if I should just be sending this spy here. Oh, much better decision. So that's where their forces are. He now has his king here. Does it seem like too much of a force? They can actually probably engage Chester. But he might not have any any war machines or anything like that. Right? I can move my king and besiege that force. Yes, that's exactly what I, it's going to happen. Let's go for the Welsh town. You're going to gather up with this guy. That's it. We're going to get this prince. Okay, he's going to get here. Why not? Oh, there's the Welsh spy. So he knows what I'm doing. Right now, I need these forces to move in. Let's go over here. I could actually move these guys over there. Not yet. For now, I think they should be accompanying the catapults. Catapults should go here. This guy is going to go over there to guard it. Then. These guys are going to go over there. And this guy is going to go over here. That's it. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Did we broke them already? Come on. Because he's going to have Carnivore attacked, so he's going to have to move these forces there. And this guy is a guy that I don't care, actually. You know, he does have a couple of good forces there, but he will spend a lot trying to kill them. You know, he will have to sally out of that castle. And if he sally out, ha sallies out of that castle, he's going to lose both his uh, other castle and this Welsh city, Montgomery. So. Yeah, this these guy these guys are enough to to besiege there. It's good. Look at that. So everything is going our way. King Henry will probably be able to besiege there. Let's see. Yeah, one turn and I can attack this city. Then I can attack this other city, Montgomery. I'll have the catapults almost in place there. Almost. I'll have a catapult with this guy. So that's fine. I, I'm winning the war here, even though I'm losing it on the other place. Let's keep moving agents. Oh, I'm so thrilled right now, guys. There's the other Welsh spy, so he knows. Still have some forces that can move in. Let's let's check out how many. I'm gonna move everyone there. They're pretty sure that's the best option. For now, everything seems to be fine. I'm rather weak on these uh, towns. I don't know if I'm gonna have some surprise attacks. But right now, we An need honor, to go sire. against this Prince Magnus. I could even send this guy there. I don't know if I would yes, need that. Let me check out. So, we're here on Lancaster. Yes, Let me gather up yes, all the troops. As you wish. Nah, I have more cavalry than he has, I believe. Yeah, he can only have two. He always sets it up perfectly. So, he can only have two cavalry units there. Maybe some... Uh, catapults, but I'm pretty sure that this battle is enough for them. I have three archer units, I have enough infantry, militia. It's a neutral faction, but they will attack me, so I'm Come going on, to preemptively please. attack. Okay, he has two catapults, that's going to be difficult, but he has only two cavalry units against my four. So, um, and he doesn't have a lot of infantry, he has some dismounted muscles. Alright, so the tactic is really simple. Try to get their prince into a bad position, avoid their catapults. I'm going to try to use my mailed knights to go around and destroy their catapults. Let's fight it out of my own. Okay, so I've done two great battles. I've avoided siege, and I've destroyed their biggest army. 
from the whales. And I have unloaded another army on their back. So whales is pretty much taken care of. Unless uh, some surprises happen, of course. It's a human opponent. But for now, it seems really dire. I wouldn't like to be, as a human opponent, I wouldn't like to be on his position. Right now, all that I have to do is try to avoid their catapults. Perhaps position here on the higher ground is a better choice. I'm gonna have these guys deployed. Right there. I think I'm gonna have these spear, these heavy beer militia at the front. Well, maybe do like this. Let's maybe do like this. And the heavy build militia on the back. Or should I have these guys... I think I'm gonna have these guys here. And this guy here. Protecting the flanks, just to make sure that his cavalry doesn't do anything. This guy is gonna go over to the other side. It's a pretty basic, you know, deployment position. You know, heavy build militia. By the way, these guys are really cool can't see that, but they're really cool, total defense, they're effective against armor, so they're my main killers in this army. Alright, let's make sure that he tries to deploy their troops badly. Let's fully divide my troops. Now I have plenty of forces there, so he'll probably try to move in. Oh, look at that, he's trying to move in. So this build militia, you're gonna protect these guys, yet there is. Actually, you're gonna deploy here because he's already moving in. Amazing. Okay, go over there. Group two, group over here. He's deploying the the cavalry at the middle. All right, and you guys, you're just going to go all around there. That's it. I need to catch that kind of archer fire is going to go well. Could actually attack the huskarls there. There, let's use the peasant archers against those Huskarls. Okay, he's charging in against this cavalry. Alright, I managed. Perfect. Perfect, he's moving out. This cavalry unit, come on, let's do that. Then. That's it. Good. Deploy here. Let's go over there. Let's go over here. Cavalry forces, you're gonna go over there. That's it. Cavalry forces, you're gonna go over here. He does have the Huskarls, so we're gonna have to attack them. Because those are really good against anything else. Right, I have a good point to attack those Federal Knights, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, these heavy bio militia, I need to move them right there. Let's move in, and move in. Okay, I can actually attack these peasant archers, so let's do that. A good charge, a good nice charge. He's moving in some Huskarls here. Where's my general? There we go. Okay, heavy build militia. This guy, let's attack this general's bodyguard. That's it. Huskarls are losing. Heavy buildmen, let's attack here. Those are dismounted Huskarls. Don't worry, I'm gonna attack them. Actually, these guys are attacking those Huskarls. That's it. Archers, let's attack there. These guys are fighting to the death. I don't want them to fight to the death. I want them to kill this general. Actually, let's attack these others. And let's attack him here, right there, General's bodyguard. Spear militia! That's it. Right there, he's trying to get that crossbow out. He's not gonna do that. That's good. These guys are taking the peasant archers. His general's bodyguard is losing battle. And this Huskarl, I don't know what he is trying to do. Let's just deploy here. That's it. Let's attack his own Huskarls. Right, this guy, I guess I can charge this catapult. I don't care too much about pursuing everyone. I'm seeing this general's bodyguard and he's tying heavily. Heavy Billman, let's attack here. Actually, let's move there. Oh boy. Where are they? There they are. I need the reinforcements there right away. Heavy Billman, come on. I should have been more careful about that. 
He's engaging right there. Okay, these guys are fighting to the death. Let's cause them to rout. And let's attack this his general right there. There we go, that's three dudes from his general. Can send the general right there. Right, this is actually a battle that is going to work out perfectly. Yeah, there we go. This town militia, let's see if we can regroup them. Let's go for it. There's the general's bodyguard. There we go. Come on. Can you kill that general for once and for all? That's only one general bodyguard. Amazing. Knights. Okay, armored sergeants. Let's attack here. Finally. Feudal knights. Let's attack this crossbow. What's going on over here? Crossbow militia managed to do some damage. That's fine. Archer militia. Let's attack here. Tom militia. Where is the general? There we go. That's it. That's the general that I want. That was the Huskarls doing, but all of these are fighting to the death, so that's fine. I managed there. So it's only about taking their general out. That's the general. Let's go with my generals there. Okay, that's Wavering Dude. Let's go, let's engage into some damage here. Let's send these knights over there. General's bodyguard, come on, please. We've captured the enemy good! General. That was a good victory. 22% of my men lost, but mostly it was militia troops. Couple of heavy bill militia, that's that's not a good one. This is a clear good! That goes to only men of great He's gonna survive with a couple of these dismounted Huskarls. But still, 104 men, maybe we kill them more. Another good victory! So three perfect battles right there! That was good. That felt rewarding, and that's an hour episode, guys. <laughs> now the recording would stop. <sighs> okay, I would get a really good ransom value, but you know what? Uh, I think it's King of Pergamon, right? Hear this, King of Pergamon. Hear it. I want your faction in hell. Dead. Not breathing. Dead. And his soul force is destroyed. So... So I guess I completely ripped these guys apart. And now I actually have this army free to protect the north. So that's that's something. I don't know if I want Newcastle upon Thine protected. For now, I could actually go and attack these brigands. But I'm gonna stay there on the on the on the castle, because he's probably going to try to attack Chester. If he does so, so then he's going to have some troubles there. Now, I'm pretty sure that I have moved everyone. But just to make sure, let's account what has to happen. This captain, I might send in this, uh, this force there. I don't know what's going on here near Coventry. I'm going to send a peasant unit just to check out what's going on here. Kind of like a spy. He doesn't have too much here, but, you know, for now, not going to push it too hard. You know, Ireland is going to be a problem because he's going to have a lot of places. What I'm counting on is on destroying Wales as fast as possible, then on probably sending an expeditionary force to try to capture the, over here everything on Dublin. You know, I don't know if controlling the north is the best option. I think controlling the south is much better. But for now, all that I want is to destroy Wales. That's my target. And that's where we're going to meet our doom, because Scotland is going to see everything is open for me. I will need this army right there, and this is going to be the biggest army threat that he'll have. He would be wise to move into Garnavon. I don't know if he has any movement points to attack this guy, to attack Maurice here. If he doesn't, then I can just besiege the city with the catapults and maybe cause some losses, cause, cause some severe damage there. Uh, while waiting for all my reinforcements. Not counting on what he's going to have replenished, but, you know, that's how things work. For now, I think that's all. That was a really long episode, but th those were three good and important battles. I have all my forces coming in. 
Okay, I actually, I actually, I'm not gonna move with these guys. Actually, I think I'm gonna move with these guys away. Just so we can be, you know, closer there. I'm gonna suffer some, some, you know, problems with uh, upkeep, but I've also lost some forces. So yes, it's fine for us. This uh, diplomat. Let me check what's going on. Well, I haven't seen if he had. There's no garrison even here, so he has no units on this side. He actually has no units over here as well. So this whole force is going to gather up and going to attack over there on this castle. But this one is going to attack on Carnival. And this one is going to attack on this city. That will mean all his cities besieged. The force of Lancaster, if it can take out this other force, then he's dead. Then he's dead. And after that, I can just remain on the sieges. Um, actually, probably even auto resolve them or just do the siege battles and then regroup. That's after getting Wales, then I can concentrate on everything else. Then I'll build up a fleet actually so I can monitor everything here. I don't want them doing the same thing. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next time. Goodbye and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me just end up the turn and that's a new turn. Let me save, hang on a second, let me save and send out the save for my buddies. So England 3, that was a good save, that was a good victory. See you guys, cheers!